Welcoming the Elohim. Yeah, the the planet the So happy to see you. So happy to feel you. Message of Elohim is very intelligent. But that's not the most important. The intelligence is, is not interesting. It's a message of love. We are living a love story. We just intelligent uh, doesn't make us happy. Intelligent things and intelligent people make us think. And when we think, we cannot be happy. When are we happy? When we feel love. If you read the message, think, oh, that's a, that makes sense. Oh, that's very intelligent. Not a good way to read the message. Read the message feeling love. Live the message. Feeling love. You little human being born on earth. Why? Because of love. Because there was love between your mother and your father. And nine months later, boom, you were born. There was love. Even if it was not a, the best love, there was a little bit of love. Sometimes it's just uh, hormones. The father saw the ass of your mother and <laughs> chin chin up. <laughs> but this is a kind of love. Of course, it's not the best, but it's love. Without love, you are not born. When Elohim created the, the first human being, our ancestors, yes, it was science, intelligence, genetic, but that's not the most important. It was love. They love creating human beings. And the first human beings they created, they were full of love for them. But their baby not coming from the belly but imagine imagine yourself you go on another planet you make a laboratory you take many chemicals and suddenly you make a, a human being what will you feel Love. <laughs> love. The love doesn't need to come from the belly. You know that. On earth, many children have been adopted. Huh? You know? Adopted? Some woman, they cannot have a child. And they adopt uh, children. 
And they love. More. Often more than normal mother. Because normal mother sometimes have a baby. It's an accident. 90% of children born, it's accident. <laughs> they have sex, pleasure. <laughs> Suddenly, the mother says, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I thought, what? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want it. <laughs> of course, when the baby is born, they love him. They love him. <laughs> but when adoption, Always love. Mm -hmm. Because they want to have a baby. It's not coming from the womb. Not coming from the penis of the man. Adopted children are much more loved than naturally born children. It is the same for the children, the human being created by Elohim. They wanted to create us. As much as a woman who adopts a child wants a baby. So from the beginning, we were loved. And the children of the human beings they created, they loved them. Because it's these first human beings, they had babies. And the babies of the babies. And the babies of the babies of the babies. Until us. We are their children. And that's why, feel it. Our fathers from space. Elohim. Our fathers from space. Love you more than any father you have on earth. Feel this love. Well, from the moment you wake up, every morning I wake up, I say thank you, Elohim. Thank you for this life. I could be stone. I am conscious, able to feel. That's what the Elohim did. They took unconscious matter, stone, like these, these stones here. They take that and make a human being with a DNA. So I am alive, you, because of that. A human being. Feel this love. Every morning, thank you, Elohim. I am alive. I can feel your love. How can I feel Elohim love? Some people say, how can I feel Elohim love? Just touch your body. They are alive inside you. Every cell of your body is alive thanks to Elohim. Feel your heartbeat. The stone doesn't have a heartbeat. This comes from Elohim. So I thank Elohim. After I thank Elohim for the food, every food you have, vegetable, fruits or meat, come from the creation. Because they could create us without food. They could create us like, a, like flowers, just receiving energy from the sun. The flowers, the trees, they don't eat. They receive energy from the sun. 
We could be same. No. We hit. We enjoy taste. Food. Thank you, Rahim. Because they created everything we eat. And they created us able to love. We could be like robots. <laughs> no. We feel. We love to give. Receiving is beautiful. But giving is much better. That's maybe the most beautiful gift from the Elohim. What is the most beautiful gift from Elohim? The power to give. The power <laughs> to give. Every morning you sit and you make a meditation. And you, of course, it's beautiful to say, Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. What kind of what beautiful things will happen to me today? Most of people do that. Except people who are negative. It's raining. <laughs> what kind of problem will I have today? <laughs> that's, uh, that's very negative, depressed people. But normal people, not depressed. Ah, see, what kind of beautiful experience will I have today? What kind of wonderful thing will happen to me today? And that's not good. What is good? What can I do to give love to somebody today? Who will I give love to today? Instead of saying, what will come to me, to my ego? What will I give? To who will I make happy? Who will I make smile? And laugh? I wake up and I think of people living close to me. My first question in meditation in the morning, what can I do to make lotus, honey, kumiko, all the people living around me, more happy? Mikiko, Takaide, how can I make them more happy? What can I give them? If you do that, your life becomes beautiful. Meditate in the morning. Not what do I want for me. No. Why do I want to give? What? And to who? And then your brain becomes very happy. Because happiness is giving. Giving your time. Even if you have nothing to give. If you have no money. No food. You can give a smile. You can give a gentle word. Giving. And then you program your day to give. To your family. To your friends. But also to people you don't know. In the street of your city. Always try to find a way to give to people you don't know. Can be old woman having with a heavy bag. You come and help. Can be old man afraid to cross the street. You come and help. 
can be a woman having difficulty to park a car. Many women have difficulty parking a car. You go and say, may I help you? And you park the car. The number of things you can do to give love to people is infinite. If you put your brain in an autopilot of giving love, that you have a beautiful day. You make the planet better. Because everybody receiving love from you. Wow. They want to give also. It's contagious. Like AIDS. The more you give love, the more people feel, wow, me too, I want to help. Me too, I want to give. By changing your state of mind, you change the planet. And that's what the Elohim did for us. What can we do? Elohim thinking to make them happy, to make them feel better. They created a beautiful planet, beautiful flowers, plants which can cure every disease. In the plant, there is everything. We don't know yet. Every disease can be cured by plant. Elohim, gift. Beauty, love, capacity to hear music, legs for dancing, <laughs> voice for singing. Thank you, Elohim. And what can we give to Elohim? Many people ask me, oh, I want Elohim to help me. No. <laughs> what can you do to help Elohim? Same as your friends and family. What can you do to make Elohim happy? Precisely this. Exactly that. Give love. They created us to spread love. When we do it, they are happy. So you want to make Elohim happy? Yes. yes. Give love. Be happy. Dance. Sing. Laugh. And that's the best way to say thank you, Elohim. Thank you.